Welcome back, everyone. Time is 6.54. And time to look at your major headlines of the morning. Let's start with Luke Hydash live from the scene of a major traffic tie-up in southeast Huntsville. Firefighters wrapping up here and putting out the last of the hot spots at an overnight fire at the Huntsville Garden Nursery. Hay bales on fire in that shed on the right-hand side of your screen. That is what caused that fire. How they got on fire in the first place, that's what firefighters are going to spend the morning figuring out. No injuries from this. But the big story this morning, that traffic snarl up. One lane of 431 westbound closed. That's headed up over the mountain into Huntsville. We are backed up a good couple of miles all the way to that main intersection in Hampton Cove. Definitely give yourself some extra time if you're headed out this way this morning. Megan. Lou, thank you. It's election day in two North Alabama cities, Huntsville and Scottsboro. In Huntsville, two city council and three school board seats are up for grabs. And these districts, or these races rather, are in District 2, 3, and 4. Then Scottsboro voters will decide who will fill one seat on city council for District 5 and the District 2 school board seat. So polls open in less than five minutes. They'll close at 7 tonight. Well, Decatur City School leaders busy putting together next year's school budget. They'll present their first draft of that budget at a hearing at 4 o'clock this evening at the school district central office on 4th Avenue. The school board must approve a final budget by October 1st. Well, happening today, Huntsville City leaders will give an update on new developments downtown. Huntsville's Redevelopment Projects Committee will talk about a new hotel and loft. And that meeting is at 530. You can go to it at City Hall group will also vote on a new urban center that will be built at that former Coke bottling site across from the BBC. Carson. Dense fog is still with us here in the Huntsville Metro in northeast Alabama. You got to take it slow on the roads this morning. This fog is going to be with us for at least another hour or two. We'll have the chance for a few pop up storms once again later on today. 87 is our forecast high. Higher rain chances expected on Thursday. Rain chances, rain totals that is, are going to vary widely. One to two inches of rain for most of us through the end of the work week. Fog. Be careful out there. Yep. Headed to work this morning or headed mm -hmm. to school for yep. sure. Absolutely. And of course, those rain chances. Mm. I'm okay with the temperatures, though. I'll yeah. take those. Yeah. For 24 7 coverage, you can count on. Go to waytv.com. Good morning, America's up next. Carson and I back every 30 minutes with local news and other updates for you. And we will see you for the first one of those at 7 20.